Another three-way debate. Mr. Singh, Ms. May, Mr. Trudeau. Mr. Trudeau, we're going to move on with the discussion on immigration. Are you ready to give powers to Quebec, as asked by the Premier? In terms of immigration, there's the whole values test and the issue of lowering levels thresholds for certain categories. And Mr. Legault lowered the immigration levels for Quebec because Quebec has a lot of power over immigration more than any other province, and that's a good thing because of the Quebec identity and because of the need to protect the French language. And if he wants to apply a values test, uh, well, he can do that, and it's appropriate. We recognize the importance that Quebec has more control over immigration. That's something that we have always been able to work well with the government of Quebec on uh, over the last four years. Ms. May? Yes. The Green Party is absolutely open to talking with Mr. Legault because as Greens, we are absolutely committed to working with the Quebec nation as equals, but at the federal level for the entire country, we are committed to increase the number of immigrants for two reasons. We need workers. And at the same time, we have obligations because we are an industrialized country. We have contributed more than our population to the crisis, and we have re climate refugees as well. Quebec, it's very important. We want to better fund integration of newcomers. But there's something I'm concerned about. Mr. Blanchet said voting for the bloc is voting for Quebec, and that bugs me a little bit because, yes, you're the bloc, but Quebec has a diversity of opinions, a diversity of regions, a diversity of voices, so you have no monopoly over Quebec. Not at all. You have no monopoly. I was going to say the same thing because I am a proud Quebecer and I'm federalist and I'm a proud Canadian and what we saw in 2015 was that Quebecers chose to be part of a government and that's what brought an end to 10 years of Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper who didn't invest in culture, who made cuts across the board and who proposed austerity and now that the Bloc Québécois wants to uh, uh, come back on the scene and bring Quebecers back into opposition, well Quebecers need to think about this. Do they want to be part of a government that will continue to fight against climate change, that will continue to work hand in hand with Quebec on shared priorities. That's exactly what we've been doing for four years, and that's what we'll continue to do. Mr. Trudeau. This is all great rhetoric, but you have met with people from the oil patch 1,500 times, and then you bought a pipeline, and then you hand out subsidies. I'm sorry, but this is off topic. We're talking about immigration. I accepted this because powers of Quebec and immigration, it's somewhat related, but we're not going back to pipelines. Yes, thank you, Mr. Roy. But with regard to immigration, Mr. Trudeau, you did something that you promised never to do, and that was to hide legislation in omnibus budget bills, and then, then you, you've hidden things with a violation of refugees' rights. It was hidden in an omnibus bill. So it was something that canceled the human rights of people who were looking for a life, a safe that life here in Canada. That is absolutely false, Ms. May. We understand that Canadians believe that we need to have a fair and strong immigration system that applies to everyone. And we are working to make sure that we protect human rights at the international level. We want to make sure that everyone who arrives at our border, however they get to the border, goes through all of our immigration system, whether they're regular or irregular immigrants or refugees. We have a strong system that continues to apply, but there are people who are trying to uh, trade on fear and division. We have a clear solution to solve the problem of irregular crossings, and that is to suspend the Safe Third Country Agreement. But you don't have the courage to do that because 
You don't have the courage to condemn someone like Trump who is putting children behind bars. Why do you not have the courage to say no to Trump and suspend the safe third country agreement? I would appreciate to be able to talk about uh, relation, our relationship with the United States because we're talking about international relations and our relationship with the Americans is the most important uh, relationship for our country and for a Canadian Prime Minister. We were able to save NAFTA when faced with American NAFTA, uh, you opened up a breach in supply management. You increased prices. Yes. We are continuing to work with the Americans.